Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jai here, and uh, let me start off this video by saying, I know it's I know it's been a while, but because of the content of this episode, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. That being said, welcome back to Marvel Monday, folks. Another episode of with season one, episode two of What If. This one, What If T'Challa became a Star Lord. Okay, I love this episode. This is definitely, to me, it's better than better than the previous one. <clears throat> so, quick rundown. Basically, it's what would happen if instead of them kidnapping, instead of them taking Peter Quill, they took they took T'Challa. <clears throat> you know, instead okay. Instead of taking Peter Quill, the Ravagers took T'Challa. And instead of the Ravagers being, well, whatever they were in Guardians of the Galaxy, <coughs> they basically became the Robin Hood and his Marion men of the, gal of the universe. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, also, in, in this one, it's it was different, um, you know. Nebula's in it. Thanos, what Thanos went straight. Um, Howard the Duck made a better appearance than he did in the other in the other movies. Um, the Collector was basically the 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 main bad guy of this thing. Uh, hmm. Basically, it's like it, it, it ends up. Well, it starts off. You see, um, young T'Challa talking to his dad and how he wants to be, how he wants to see uh, the world outside. His dad's like, "No, the world's full of war and all that other stuff." <clears throat> well, it's then that he goes outside the barrier, the Wakanda barrier. And he gets abducted. He gets abducted by the Ravagers. Of course, uh, Yondu says, "Hey, uh, you got the wrong kid. This ain't the the son of a celestial." <coughs> and uh, yeah, I guess they decided, "Okay, fine, we'll take him." Because he's he ba Yondu says to young T'Challa, because young because young T'Challa says he wants to see the rest of the world. And he goes, why see the rest of the world when you can see the universe? Sorry, I'm going to drink some Earl Grey tea there. <clears throat> anyway. Flash forward years later. We're doing the whole uh, Morag thing. You know, from when Star-Lord, the you know, Star-Lord of Guardians of the Galaxy was you know, getting the uh, the the Infinity Stone from Morag, and it comes across uh, that one guy who who was all like, he says, "I'm Star Lord." He's like, "Who?" Except in this one, they flip the, they flip the script on this one. He's all like, "Well, I'm." He took to something. Your Star Lord is like he's all fanboying over the thing. He ends up joining like, in this in this one. He ends up joining the Ravagers, <coughs> and you know the uh, this whole thing was just. It, to me, it was just it went it went off the rail as the whole what if scenario, okay? Like, what if the guy was, uh, who didn't know who Star Wars was, Star Lord was was a big fan of the kid, of the guy? What if Thanos went straight? Um, what if the Collector was a big uh, big bad of the universe? You know, it's just, and what if the what if the Ravagers were basically uh, Robin Hood of the, of the Robin Hood group of the universe, because that's because that's what they did. They they robbed from the rich and stole and gave to the poor. That's and that's because of you know um, T'Challa. They end up going up to the collector to find to because um, they were trying to find some something, but they decided to uh, do something. And 
Well, they, what they want to do is they want to steal from the collector some stuff they can give to people. So, uh, I'm trying to think of more things. I saw this a couple days ago. And it's still somewhat fresh in my head. They come up with an idea, a plan, and at first we think, okay, uh, Nebula double crosses them. And it's actually a triple cross because Nebula double crosses uh, the collector. Well, well, okay, and while he's, well, while T'Challa was, you know, sneaking around in the collector's collection, he comes across a Wakandan ship. And they actually use that to get out. Now it's part of the Ravagers. So, and of course they, it, it, the, the, the episode ends with um, him going home to Wakanda. Because here's the thing. Yandu told young Yandu told Chala at one point that his people were were <clears throat> his people were killed in a war, and he, that, which is basically a lie. And he had gone back. He says, he says, Baba, which is you know their, his way of saying dad or father. I want to introduce you to my family, which was the Ravagers. Basically, combine the two family, his two families together, his regular family and his uh, adopted family. Like I said, I love this episode. Great episode, better than the first one. Um, and you know, I love this one because another reason why I loved it is because, well, first of all, like I said at the beginning of the video, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. Because Chadwick Boseman, I think this was. Probably, if not his last role that he did before his untimely passing. <clears throat> he voiced T'Challa one last time. And right there, Yondu was done by Michael Rooker, the original. Another one. And this whole this whole thing. Most of the episodes are original people. For example, like I said, Michael Rooker, Nebula, Karen Gillan, my favorite uh, Doctor Who companion, Amy Pond. <clears throat> Um, who else is there? Uh, uh, the, the, the Star-Lord fanboy, Jaimon Honshu. Um, Thanos, Josh Brolin. Uh, oh, The Collector, Benicio Del Toro. Um, Later on, well, end of the episode, they had um, <clears throat> Ego go to meet his, his son, Peter Quill. Peter Quill is not voiced by Chris Pratt, unfortunately. Probably because Chris Pratt's been really busy lately, so they didn't, could, probably couldn't get him. And uh, <clears throat> they all, then, then they had, um, but they had Ego voiced by Kurt Russell. And I'm like, this? To me, like I said, I liked it because they got most of the people that were, that were these roles back. Loved it. Great, uh, great episode. Can't wait for the next one. Until next time, this is Love Jared saying thank you all for watching. Take care of yourselves.